So what does the experimental evidence for lowballing look like? Well, Robert Cialdini and his colleagues in 1978 asked some students, would you like to help with an experiment of mine? They're going to say, yes, that sounds like fun. And in fact, all of the students that he asked agreed. It was only after they had said yes that he sprung the surprise. It's going to be a seven o'clock start in the morning. How many people continue to agree to do this experiment after finding out this additional information? Well, 56% still agreed to help out. Now again, we don't know if that's a little or a lot. We need to have a control condition. What happens if you do the honourable thing and you just admit from the beginning that this is going to be an early start? So you've got a control group, people that have not been part of the experiment up to this point, and you just ask them if they'd like to do the, any experiment that starts at 7 o'clock in the morning and much fewer people agreed, only 31% now. So to protect yourself against lowballing, be very mindful and wary of promises that people make in order to get you to agree to do something. Maybe you're going for a job and they make all these promises about your salary package or working conditions, and based on that you make a lot of commitments. You might quit your existing job, you might stop applying for other jobs, or maybe even move house. If those promises are taken away, then you're kind of stuck. You feel the need to rationalise that it's still okay to take the job, even though it isn't what you initially agreed to.